guys welcome to my channel it's another empties video today and i'm going to be doing a supplement empties because i'm a huge believer in using supplementation for all of the things that you can't get in abundance within the natural diet my main preference obviously would be to get um, all of these uh, nutrients and elements from a diet but sometimes it's just not possible so i'm going to show you some of my supplement empties uh, by the way this doesn't constitute any medical advice just wanted to get that out of the way this is just the things that i have used that i have tried out that my family have used and i've tried out and i'm sharing with you what i thought about them okay number one um is okay so this is now empty and this is nature's best super strength lactase at 9000 so this is one of the highest concentration of the lactase enzyme so a uh, long story short i discovered that i was lactose intolerant when i did a carnivore diet uh, last year in 2019 February 2019 and so when I got back to taking dairy there was just a lot of bloated and, and feeling well inflammation and so I started looking for lactase and I ended up with this one and this has just been amazing it's the bee's knees I came through this stuff um, yeah and when I buy it I always make sure that I buy um, two to three bottles at a time because I love cheese I love cheese I can't do without cheese and this works really well uh, the pills are really quite small and easy to swallow I should have saved one of them to show you but the other ones I've got them but yes yeah, so that's lactase at 9000 can't live with that without this one vitamin C and zinc now I'm sure you've all read everywhere, especially given what's going on um, at the moment with the Rona, that this is excellent immune support. Uh, so uh, for me, because I'm asthmatic, I've always had to take immune support supplementation well, well before uh, the Rona happened. So this is something that I have been taking for over 10 years. I take vitamin C and zinc, especially during the winter months. And that's just to protect me because every time I get the flu or any bug in winter, it becomes bronchitis and it's really nasty. So I've always had to be careful. And so this is the one that I have been using. It's a high strength vitamin C, 500 milligram and zinc, 15 milligram. Um, the tablets are not very pleasant to swallow. They're about this size. I only have the one left in here because I thought, let me show you what the size is. And yeah, it's Bio Nutrition. I picked this off of Amazon. And it's good. I won't be buying this again because I've decided to separate the vitamin C and the zinc. And I'm now taking a vitamin C slow release tablet by itself and a vitamin uh, sorry a zinc tablet by itself i just feel like i've got a lot more flexibility that way so that was this one uh, vitamin c and zinc okay so this one is turmeric u theory and i bought this from costco about a year and a half ago it's got 180 tablets and you're supposed to be taking one a day so with turmeric right i bought it during a time when turmeric was suddenly everywhere in the media they were talking about the curcumin which is supposed to reduce inflammation it's supposed to be antifungal antimicrobial and it's supposed to have anti-aging benefits and all that so i just i basically jumped onto the bandwagon without doing my research and i ended up getting this and it took me forever to finish this because Number one, the pills are very large. See, they match my top. The supplement themselves is very, very large. And I found that it left like a, a horrible, I want to say aftertaste. It, almost like if you remember when you, when you take a fish oil, a fish oil, and then you'd burp up the fishy oil nest. That is what happened with this. So it was quite difficult to take. And I didn't feel any immediate perceived benefits when I started taking it and even by the time I finished taking it. And I finished taking it because I was like, I paid for it, I'm gonna use it up. But generally the benefits that you get from uh, checking uh, this turmeric, I personally feel like those are not the sort of benefits that you do see per se. It's not like say, for example, when I take my omega-3s and I can see the difference in my skin and in my mood, or when I take the probiotics, I can feel the difference in whether I'm bloated or not, or with the vitamin C and the zinc, and I can feel the difference in whether over winter I caught more bugs than, um, than before. 
this one to me is kind of like one of those things that you have to take on faith and so as a result it's something that i want to buy in again because guess what i actually like turmeric in curries and in actually cooking when i make a carrot and coriander soup i'm using turmeric so i've decided that with turmeric i'm not going to be using supplementation for it i am just going to be eating more turmeric in its natural form that i much prefer and enjoy so that was this new theory i am so glad i finally finished this this took me forever to finish and yeah it's a nice bottle though okay now we move on to um omega-3s i love love omega-3s I started taking omega oil fish oil supplementation when I read that it does help with mood with mood disorders and I suffered from SADS and so I was working on coming up with a regimen to help me through winters and omegas were part of this and I've been using them for years and I love it. I can't do without the omegas and they're also really great for skin because around that time as well my skin started improving drastically but I decided to try something different. I tried the seal oil, the pure seal oil and it's Norwegian, 600 milligrams and I got this off of Amazon. The bottle is amazing, guys. It's like a, it's aluminium. It's like a vacuum flask. And it's a really beautiful bottle. I liked the coloring and I liked the size of the supplement itself. This is the last one. This is the last one. Um, so yeah, so I quite liked this. It, it has the DHA, the EPA, and the DPA in relatively decent amounts. It's got omega-3, 6, and it doesn't have the 9. Before that, I was taking a supplement that had uh, the 3, 6, and 9. So I decided that I wanted to try something different, and I quite liked it. I definitely felt a little bit of a zing whenever I would take it, because um, for me, that's how I can tell if an omega-3 is good uh, for me. I had to get like a little uh, zing or um, it, I've had instances where I have tried an omega-3 and it hasn't been working and I wouldn't realize until later because my mood just kind of like goes a little bit down and it turns up. So yeah, so the, the, this is a very big part of my regimen. I take it in the mornings with my vitamin D, um, it's with my vitamin D, especially in winter, and then I'll have two of these a day. But this was really good stuff, good stuff. I'm not going to be buying it again though because I decided to switch over to Nature's Best because they've got a 369 and it was just better value. It just worked out a little bit cheaper because this is actually quite pricey. But I can see why it is pricey. The other two supplements are kids' supplements. So during winter, because here in England we don't get a lot of, we don't get enough sunshine during the winter. So I got some children's vitamin D3, which are not easy to come by to get the ones that have the right dosage for children and that are in a delivery system that children can take. And these ones are chewable and they're also raspberry flavored. So it was easy to get the children to take them during winter. So I have uh, five kids of which the oldest, he can uh, swallow pills, but the other four younger ones, they were taking this during winter. And it was good. And this is just, you know, vitamin D3 is a sunshine vitamin and it also helps to boost the immune system. So these were really good. I'm getting more of these so that come winter time, we have these um, available. The last one is the Equizen Kids Chewable Naturally Sourced Omega-3 with Omega-6. So again, with my children, we don't eat a lot of fish, which would be the natural source for the omega-3, 6, and 9. So I decided that I would be getting the, su the supplementation. And because they find it hard to swallow things, I had to get the chewable ones. So they are a little bit more expensive, obviously, but they're spending the extra to make the delivery mechanism easier for children to swallow. And so the children really like this, and they've been taking this every single day. So they take one a day which is really good for them. And it's got EPA, DHA, and GLA. So even though it doesn't have the omega-9, at least they're still getting the omega-3 and 6. And given that our diet, we don't actually eat as much fish in order to get um, the full spectrum, the full range of the omegas, this is uh, the best that I can do uh, for now. So good, highly recommended. So. I've had to order more of these because I'm only down to six that are left in here. There's only six. Uh, 
but that's what it looks like and it's raspberry flavored and the kids really really like it thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed the video and that you found it useful those are the supplement empties i'll be back again with um, some more empties in a few months just to, to let you know uh, what's what but if you have any questions do let me know in the comments box down below and also let me know what is your favorite supplement that you absolutely can't be without if you're also into uh, supplements until i see you next time guys take care Bye.